talk of philosophy. You're going to dig in. Now, when I say cosmic energy, what is cosmic energy? The energy of all that comes to everything. Well, it has a specific. All right, let's look at that name. Cosmic energy. Cosmic means the cosmos. Every all energies off the earth that come from off the earth is considered cosmic energies. Y'all got that? That's why in uh, the space program in Russia, they call their people to go into space cosmonauts. Oh, wow. the metaphysical side. Mm -hmm. And um, the U.S. they call their people to go into space astronauts. Astro just means stars. That's a star sailor or a cosmic sailor. That's what it means. All the energies that come from off the earth. Now is cosmic energy real? If it ain't real, we might as well abort the mission. Because if we say a breath there lives off the oh, air, yes. we got to dig into this and see what's in the air. Oh man, this is good, ain't it? So cosmic energy. Is it real? What is it? Now, cosmic energy, the number one is the solar, the sun. The sun is the primary energy source of our atmosphere. This is good, eh? Primary source. But also the cosmic energy is also the energies from other stars, the galaxy, the solar system, the moon, all those is bringing frequencies to the planet. That's why there's a thing in ancient times called astrology, which means the study of the stars. But today in science, it's called astronomy. They're just studying the stars saying, they're still doing the same thing, but they're saying it does not interfere with, with human events in, in, in your actions or thought process. But astrology, all it's saying is they still measure the stars, but they're saying those cosmic forces do influence the events in your life. Oh, did we say this? Oh, man. Now, cosmic energy is the protons that's in the atmosphere that's going in space at the speed of light. And its origination point is from the sun and the other forces outside the earth. And it exists. It could be measured. This is good, eh? Yeah. And the sun, according to NASA, brings enough energy to the earth in an hour to can fuel all the industries around the world for a whole year. That's a lot of power, eh? But we don't know we live in this much power because you're born into it. You're born into it. But this is how much power in the atmosphere. And now they will tell you, you can fact check it. Your living room at home or this room, there's a hundred watts or volts. That's different. A hundred volts of electricity in the atmosphere in this room right now. But we don't know we was born into that. This is good, ain't it? This is the atmosphere you live in. But people just thought it was invisible. It has nothing to do with oxygen. Well, we need oxygen. Oh, you live in more than oxygen. <laughs> you live in the bottom of gases. Now listen at this now. The four main ones was what? Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon. We got argon, we got water. Water's in the atmosphere. You all believe me? Take your hand and do this. Fill the atmosphere. Really fill it. Do you feel any moisture? Hmm? Y'all feel moisture? Yes. You live in water. She's at a higher, a higher density. No, a lower density. Water is at a higher density. H2O. It's just elements. It's in the atmosphere. Uh-oh. Always. I don't care if it was, it was a, over a 100 degree day. It's still out there. All you got to do is take your hand one day and say, whoa. Now, it don't matter if you all dehydrate or falling out. That's called your body ain't prepared. 
but it's there. This is what you live in. So again, when they use the word in Sanskrit, akash, which means ether, which means space, they was telling uh, over a thousand years ago that you don't live in some empty space. There's something here. The Western mind didn't know that. But now the Western mind turned this tune because it's true. This is good, eh? This is why we got this, what? Radio waves is in the room right now. Radio stations is in this room right now. Now, can you hear it? No. But your favorite radio station is on and your body's picking it up. Here we go. You're getting x-rays. All this stuff, right? Infrared waves. You're giving off infrared waves. See, oh man, we got to dig so deep. But we got to know that this cosmic energy is real and that the energy in the atmosphere is already here. And on a solar breath there and journey, you want to connect with that at a higher level. Oh, this is what we say. We're going to break it down to earth. It's so simple, isn't it? Now, let's keep digging. Cosmic energy. Cosmic energy meditation. Energy cultivation. Let's go deeper with it. Now, when we talked about you live in the bottom of gases, let's keep in mind, oxygen's a gas, hydrogen's a gas, and you can't see them, taste them, or smell them. Now, you know, and we all heard what you get out of oxygen, right? Well, pure oxygen is poisonous to the body. It's only 21% in the atmosphere. So what is the rest of the gases doing? See, it's the mixture of gases that's keeping us alive, and that's energy. The mixture of gases. This is good, huh? What do nitrogen do? That's 78% of the atmosphere, I believe. Protein, now he, he busted out his head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then let's take the other one. Here's oxygen, right? There's a thing called nitric oxide that's produced through your olfactory system. And your body uses it and needs it. So it does use that nitrogen in the atmosphere. And you need nitrogen in order to live. Nobody told us that, didn't they? Uh-oh. And you can activate the nitrogen through humming. <laughs> yeah. And also the own sound. Om. Through that sound, you can increase the nitric oxide to help your body. And what, what does it do? Well, it does all types of things. But one of them it does is it helps with the so the veins in the body won't constrict. I just bring up one thing. Oh man, but it does so much. But you need it in order to live. This is good, eh? So this whole atmosphere you living in is designed to support you, and that's all the body needs. We didn't know that. We try to eat something else to get nitric oxide. And all you gotta do is go, hum. That's something, ain't it? The only reason why you're eating is to get energy. Didn't we just get energy just now? If you got the energy, you don't need to get it from somewhere else. Uh-oh. We got to put two plus two together. Like I told somebody, I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, all right, so we chopped down. The cosmic energy. Is everybody clear? Do we think it exists? It's there, right? And that's what we was telling what we was playing with. Now we're going to talk about, we got a physical body. We all can see that. Everybody got a physical body. But the average mind is saying, how can you maintain this physical body if we don't put nothing in? But our body is telling us another story. 99.9% .9 of what you eat comes out of species. Now, that don't sound right. You're giving up more waste than what you thought you was getting from it. That don't even sound right. Wow, it takes a lot of energy to digest food. 
So you use energy for everything. To see, to think, even to sleep you use an energy. That's wild it. Oh man. Everything. To walk, to talk. But let's chop it on down. Cosmic energy. Cosmic energy. Man, I'm getting high. Just thinking about this. Serious. Y'all gotta mind me. Oh man. So now let's look at it. Everybody got this physical body. But see, this is what humanity did not know until recently. Now there's people in the know who know, but the average everyday person don't know. You got an energy body. Now you heard about it in metaphysics and all this other stuff, you know, the other levels of spirituality. They call them chakras. Some people heard of that. Nadis. But in the way we still have problems with it, because if they cut you open on a operating table, nobody can point out and say that's the chakra. All right, we went through that a long time. Now keep in mind that in spirituality and religion, we used to use the word aura. Any of y'all ever heard that word? Or aura. But even back then, people will say they're crazy. They talk about they can see people's auras. They got an aura. We used to say that. But today, knowledge has increased. You have an electromagnetic field coming off the physical body. That's an aura. They just changed the word. An electromagnetic field, what is that? Electricity and magnetism. That's physics. Your body's working with physics. The higher the electricity, the higher the magnetism, and the higher the magnetism, the higher the electricity, your body's working with physics. So if you want to increase your electromagnetic field, you can increase the electrical or the magnetic energies it's working with, and it will grow. Some people's auras or electromagnetic field is bigger than others. Can we say this? We just chopping it down. So we got one, don't we? Everybody got one. Everybody glows. Everybody. And what they tell you is you just can't see it with your physical eye because they're giving it off. The heat that a human being is giving off is at an infrared level. You ever heard of that? Infrared? That's under visible light. And infra means below. It's below on a visible light that you can see with your physical eyes. But we live in an age where we got equipment that can show you it now. Don't we? We can't lie. It's there. <laughs> oh, man. Because we got to see what we're working with if, if we're going to talk to breath air and journey. If you don't got nothing to work with, we might as well abort the journey. This isn't a belief system. This is pure science. Oh, man, did we say this? See, in antiquity, in, this, in, in uh, ancient spirituality, it was science. Modern day people made it into just believe. But we're bringing back up the sciences. And the sciences that's today come out of ancient spiritual sciences. They just don't want to show face. That's why I make it full circle. Oh, we might as well say it. Oh, man, this is good. So we... Got our physical body. And now let's get deeper into our energy body. Do we have one? Oh, man. Now, we're really going to pinpoint it. It's not invisible. Y'all ready? A lot of people don't know this one. But we're going to bring it forward. Oh, man. I'm all excited. I'm going to begin on this. There's a thing called acupuncture. Any of y'all ever heard of acupuncture? Where they take the needles and they manipulate the energies at the top of the skin, the epidermis, in order to manipulate the energies going deeper inside in the energy channels. Acupuncture. Now, ancient art. Ancient. And they even got what you call uh, 
acupuncture chart showing you where the different energy channels is at in the body. You can have a pain over here, but it's originating from here. Uh-huh. They already mapped it out. This is good, ain't it? Now, Western medicine, they wouldn't accept it for a long time, and you can't blame them. See, I ain't going to say conspiracy theory. Because dealing with science, they got the scientific method. Show me where it's at so we can see it. So for a long time, they had trouble, they couldn't find it. Even though we can do all of this and say, okay, the energy's coming off, but where's the energy channel? You see where I'm getting at? Where is the energy channel? So an acupuncture was on the scene. It don't matter if it healed somebody or not. They couldn't accept it yet until somebody dig and find it. Uh-oh. But guess what? Somebody found it. Bing. So that's why right now today, acupuncture is accepted by the medical field. Why did they accept it? Because something got proven. Uh-oh. It got proven. But this is the story behind it. When did it get proven? And by who? We got to dig the history. So back in 1960, I believe. <laughs> 1960. There was a Korean doctor by the name of Kim Ban Han. Kim Bon Han in North Korea. Uh oh, that's a red flag for the U.S., huh? <laughs> well, what did they want to accept it right away? <laughs> oh, so he finally found the energy channels for the acupuncture points. He found them, but the reason why he was able to find them is because they show up in living tissue. See, most of our science, they do an autopsy on a cadaver when it's dead. So that's how they was getting their information. But Kim Bong Han, he was a scientist of living tissue. So but when the body dies, the energy channels disappear or shrink and you can't see them. Because the life is gone. So nobody can find it. But when he found it within the living tissue, that changed the ball game. Uh-oh. That changed the ball game. So he found it, they call it the Von Hahn system. Now what they call it, you can fact check it. It's called the primal vascular system. Instead of the cardiovascular system, it's called the primal vascular system. But even though they discovered it in 1960, I gotta say it, Kim Bon Han in 1966, his school got closed down and he disappeared. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that always happens. That always happens, don't it? Yeah. Right. Great. He disappeared. Don't know where he went. Mm. Oh man, that's what happened. But it still didn't make it to the West yet, you know, for them to accept it. So somebody re resurrected the knowledge. So at about 1980, that's when they start working with it again to see what it's about. And in 2002, they officially couldn't deny it. That's the energy channels in the body. So the medical profession does accept acupuncture because you do have energy channels in the body, but they only use it for two things. But listen at this. They use it for cancer and cell regeneration. Listen at that. Cell regeneration. They'll just keep it there. Why won't they use it for other things? Because they got a whole system set up. They got a whole system set up for other things to make money. Here we go. So your primal vascular system is the acupuncture meridians, which is actually the energy mass meridians that chi flows through, prana flows through, and it's physical. 
physical, so you do have a physical energy system. Running through the body like roots of a tree. Oh, man. So when we say that this is a holistic lifestyle, mind, body, energy connection, it's true. The mind and the body and the energy is all one because the energy system is inside the body. It's a system. Just like the digestive system, just like that what? Cardiovascular circulatory system, skeletal system. So now you've got a primal vascular system that is the meridian channels in the body, and that's the foundation of all of them. Wow. <laughs> or there wouldn't be a spirituality. There wouldn't be an energy cultivation. Oh, did we say this? We made it up, it's a given. We just got to come into the realization of self-knowledge. You didn't know. Now you're figuring it out. Uh-huh. This is an uh-huh moment, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> we got an uh-huh moment. Uh-huh. Oh, man, because before, my chakras, you ain't got no chakra, they don't exist. But what is this feeling? But now we know we got one. And it's real. It's already mapped out. So the acupuncture meridian is the energy body, which is the what? Y'all ever heard of that word, etheric body? Mm -hmm. They just changing up names. That's your etheric body. The ether, which is the air, which is space. So the ether is not only around you, it's going through you. It has to. That's how the body's being animated. Life is over when the ether leaves. The food is still in the system. That's not the source. That's why they say God is in you. It's your acupuncture meridians, which is you. Oh, man. Did we say this? Oh, we just got hard. <laughs> Other than that, there is no solar breath there in Germany. But since we got that, yes it is. And what do we feed off of? Let's go further. Then we start off talking about the cosmic energy hit the earth. Well, what's nourishing it? It's their body. The cosmic energy, that's why you from the cosmos. That's what you was filling up with. We were doing the Qigong. That's what's making your electromagnetic field. It hit the system. Both well, day and night, regenerating. That's what you sleep for. When you sleep, you're going to go regenerate. Oh. Right. And when you get to that point of no sleep, it's because you build up with cosmic energy. You're only sleeping because you're depleted of energy. You needed to go recharge. Did we say this? Do we say this? Yes. Yes. You just told us earlier that the meditation is a relaxation, and that's how the cosmic energy can work through our body. So when we're asleep, we're already relaxed. You already relaxed. That's why I kept saying sleep is unconscious meditation. You're relaxing so it can recharge itself with the cosmic forces. Right. Without you interfering. The cosmos had to knock you out so you could so it could keep you alive. Right. Oh my God. So it could keep you alive because what you was doing was just depleting yourself. Right. Uh, you were just gonna keep going and going. Like you were just gonna keep going and going until you kill yourself. And the cosmos set you down so it could say, "Let me keep you alive. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe." <laughs> 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 You woke up, here you go. I need some energy and you want to eat something again. And they just charged you up. You didn't know. Oh, man. So that's why the healthier you become, the less sleep you need. Oh, did that make sense? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, because the energy is flowing. It don't need to recover that much. See, fatigue and tiredness it's the sign of energy depletion. Right, and other things. Food, now he doesn't hit the food, but they all connected. Thinking, which is the food. 
emotions, all of that stuff making you tired, wasted energy. You became depleted off your own mind. Whoa! This is good, ain't it? Let us keep digging. We just start. Let me roll up my sleeve. <laughs> so the energy body is the what? Acupuncture meridians, which is the energy body. Three different names, but it's the same thing. They try to confuse each other, everybody with the names. And when you look at the map of the acupuncture channels going through the body, the map is already there. Anybody could download it off the internet. Come up on the feet. You got reflexology points on your feet, all your organs on your feet, on your hands, your ears, your eyes, your intestines, your private parts. All over the body is connected as one. This is good, ain't it? And there's, it's already been mapped out from antiquity. But we didn't know it. But of course, we couldn't find it before, but now we can. It's living in living tissue. Not dead tissue. It shrinks and it dissolves when the vessel's dead. Nobody can see it. Now we see it. That's why you're moving around now. That's why as long as you're living, you got a chance. <laughs> Whoa! So this is why we say, now notice that they use acupuncture for cancer and cell regeneration. Because the cells in your body grow faster along the meridian channel. Does that make sense? They grow faster. So if you're on this path in an energy cultivation and understand what meditation is for, you shouldn't get sick or you'll be able to heal yourself from the sickness you're in. Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, man. You got the channels? Why not? All you got to do is go sit down. You got yourself sick for running around too much. <laughs> go sit down somewhere. Take a time out. You've been a bad kid. That's why you got sick. Go sit down and relax. Stressing yourself out and everybody else. Go sit down. That's why they do a out, isn't it? That's why they do a timeout. Yeah, timeout. I mean, when I was a kid, I hated it. Uh, I would put a timeout. But now, but now you love it because you're a meditator. Right. The now, meditator. Helps you. now I can send my kid to timeout, you know, so it's all different. Oh, man, this That's is good. It's so funny. It's so good. Yeah. Take some time out. So this is why people, at first, when they heard about the breath of knowledge, and they still try to do it, they're trying to fast their way in. Why is that a problem? Absolutely. Trying to run, you ain't even problem. Trying to run, that's why they got a thing called, have you ever heard of spiritual maturity yes. or a spiritual baby? Yes. Now let's change it. An energy baby yes. and energetic maturity. Mm, yes. One person who's been in the game for a while is strengthened their energetic organs. Mm -hmm. That's what we call energetic maturity. It can take on more energy. So it don't matter what age you are, if you haven't cultivated the vessel, that's an energy baby. That's all. But the thing about a baby, don't be offended. A baby will grow something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is a good, ain't it? We the pinpointing it. We got the, that's why they say there's two forces in life. Because everybody want a good life. Everybody do. So you got the cosmic energy that nobody can stop. It's even coming through the cell. Always make it contact with the body. The cosmic energy, but the other one was self knowledge. That's why they kept saying self realization is spirituality. What is that? Self realization. Know thyself and you'll know the universe. Know thyself and you know God. You just became one 
with the cosmic forces, which is the universal forces. Do y'all know the definition for the universe? Everything. <laughs> universe. Uni just means one. Everything. The trees, the ground, the houses, all people, all animals, all planets. That's why there's a meditation called the microcosmic orbit. Micro means small, right? You're working with yourself with a meditation. Opening up your energy channel. Your acupuncture channel. Your, what is that other one? Your energy channel, your acupuncture channel, your etheric channel, which is all the same thing. And in yoga, don't they keep showing you the spinal cord with the yes. seven major chakras? Thing, yes. we got it now. So more cosmic energy can flow through the vessel. Because you need energy. That's the foundation of your existence. Not an apple. <laughs> oh, man, did we say this? Oh! Right there, he doesn't cut the middle man. You cut the middle man. Food is the middle man. Right. Food puts you in duality. Because you depended outside yourself for something to keep you alive. You are the source. Oh, direct access to it. That's wild, isn't it? And the thing about it, when I just said that, there was a time people say that they started, you know, because it just sounds good. But now you know it's real. Because you got something physical. Your primal vascular system that you know you have. That's a game changer for the medical field. Do we just say this? That's a game changer. You know you got it, and everybody else does. Now they got acupuncture, right? Now they got acupressure. You ever heard of that? Acupressure. Now acupuncture is just using the needles, something metal. And why would they use something metal? So can they attract electricity out of the atmosphere? So you can put it into the body. Uh-huh. You're an electrical beam. Now, some people need that to get jump started. Or you can skip the needles and go to acupressure. Pressure. You ever heard of Reiki? Yes. yes. Other energy healings? Uh -huh. So now you're just coming with the energy from one source, moving the energy, same thing, acupressure. There's many different systems of energy out there to break up blockages in your what? Your primal vascular system, <laughs> your acupuncture system, mm -hmm. your etheric body, your energy, which is all the same thing, it's knocked out. Then we heal the body. So you acupuncture, acupressure, and then you got reflexology. Remember I showed you all those reflexology points in the body? A massage will break up blockages in the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here we go now. And now we know it really makes sense because you've got something physical you're working with. I'm getting my meridians and chakras opened up. You could do self-massage. It is free. <laughs> right. All the time. I said, that anyway, what you doing? Self-massage to open up my vascular system. <laughs> so I can get so I can nourish myself. That's what's nourishing the body. In antiquity, this ain't nothing new. Look at uh, the symbolism from antiquity, where they used to show us saints with the glow on top of their head. Because the brain uses the most energy of all the organs in the body. And I used to always say this, if the brain got its energy, it's not going to make the body feel uncomfortable. If the brain ain't got his energy, it cares about itself. It's going to shut down other inner body parts. That's why the body starts eating itself when somebody's fasting. No, you can't live without food. Because the, because the brain ain't got his food. But if the brain got his food, then the brain will nourish you. Oh, did we say this? Oh, man, did I say that? All right, let me reword it. Right. So that's why in the symbolism of ancient times, 
They showed the feral with the serpent at the top of his head. Now it came to the top of the head, right? So that means it came from below and it rose upward. Don't in yoga they show you the crossing over to the top of the head. And all three, the India, Shiva, Shakti, they're showing you these serpents going up the staff. Not just, and what do they use in modern day electronics? Have y'all ever heard of the sin wave or the sine wave? Mm -hmm. Wave like this with a line going up the middle. That's what? Showing a frequency. It's coming this way and it's vibrating this way. But that frequency, our body is giving off a frequency. Mm -hmm. It is based off of your breath. Mm. Oh, did we say this? This is why breath work is so powerful, but you got to know what it's for. When your diaphragm is pushing up and down, naturally, it's contracting and relaxing. That's dictating how the sine wave is coming off of the body. That's why you're training yourself at all times to have a nice, relaxed breath lower in the body so you can give off a stronger frequency mm. and your life would be better. <laughs> then we, that's physics. Told you this is science. This ain't no bully. I believe I can, I just, somebody just called me, I believe I can do it. No, you can't. <laughs> we're, we're not talking belief. Listen to me. He talked, he reads some scripture from Jesus. Don't put that. I'm not talking about that and I'm not shooting that religion. You need to know this. Other than that, you're going to hit yourself in the head. We're not talking that. Oh, man. This is good, ain't it? Oh, man. So the sine wave. And what's happening is, when a person get blocked up, their sine wave is coming out there. Where it's not fully, you know, making that full loop. And you experience it as a bad event in life. Because it's based on your frequency. Then Nikolai Tesla say, if you want to learn the universe, you should learn frequency, vibration, and energy. Oh, man. And that's equipment he was making was getting it straight out of the atmosphere. He ain't make that up. He just made it with the body. Right. And here we are today. The game is still the same. Oh, let, instead of me building something to go get the electricity out of the atmosphere, why don't I just use my body? Come on. Oh, man. Why don't I just use my body? <laughs> That's why they say the three treasures of life is eating, drinking, and breathing. But breathing is the greatest of the three treasures. Because you'll die a lot quicker without breathing than you will without eating or drinking. So you're becoming a breath animal. That's why the scriptures say that God breathed in, breathed in the animal and he became a living soul. Somebody connected with the cosmic energies. That's all I was saying. We might as well say it. We were dealing with the breath. So you're becoming a what? Earth animal and transforming yourself into an air animal. Yes, a breath there and live off the air. It's full of cosmic energy. And you got an energy channel that goes along with it. This designed for it. Oh man, that's why you living in the first place. That all for what you eat. People got different diets all over the planet. It don't even matter. This is good, ain't it? Somebody called me yesterday talking about, is this diet is good? Should I eat this? Go call a nutritionist. I don't work on that level. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> Dude, that one was better than that one. Oh, man. I can't talk like that no more. Especially you got all this power that you got contact with. Why should you worry talking like that? Oh, man. So now this is where it gets good. In spirituality, what is it? Because a lot of people say they're on a spiritual path. What is it? Crap. But let's get a little bit even deeper. This is what they say it is. It's the expansion of consciousness. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. 
the expansion of consciousness. How do you expand your consciousness? Uh oh, let's go through it. Because when you use the word consciousness, what do the average person think of? Their brain. Right up here. So most people are stuck in their head. And we might as well go ahead and admit it. In religion and also in the spiritual communities around the world, for a long time, they threw the physical body and said it's no good. And that's where the energy channels is at. Why would you do that? Uh-oh. We might as well call it. We got to call it. Was that part of the, the, the system? Right. I'm just saying. Because on the breath of knowledge, we can't go off of that no more. Mm -hmm. I'm going into my body. Because that's where the energy channel's at. That's the only way my, I'm going to be in existence. I ain't saying this don't mean nothing no more. This has value. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about death. Serious. Do a kid know about death? He running around. You don't know about death now. Who told you that? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's Here we go. That's why when you dream and you're about to die, you wake up immediately. Wake up yeah, immediately. Who was that? Yeah. I'm about to go out of existence. Oh man, this is good. So this this is why this is a paradigm shift. We're going into the body. It has value. So when they say the expansion of consciousness, you're coming from the head and it's coming down into the body. Because the spinal cord is an extension of the brain. Is this system to try to what? Divide stuff, blood, the brain, and the spinal cord. No, they're one. They're all the same. That's the unity frequency. Huh. So the body and the brain, if the foot is part of the body, the brain is a part of the body, they're all one. You need them. Oh, man, this is good. So the expansion of consciousness is the expansion of the channels in your body. And you get smarter. Literally. Why wouldn't you? Because your body, the energy field, is filtering your life experience. It's the, that's what your life experience is going from. Your perception. Oh, let's dig. We ain't done yet. We just opened. Let me roll up my sleeves one more time. <laughs> we got to make it make sense. So we might as well abort the journey. Now think about this now. Your electromagnetic field coming off of the body. It just ain't coming from the head only. Did it? Right? When we look at a machine and it's showing our energy field, the consciousness just ain't up here. It's the whole body. So when you working with these energies, energy cultivation, you expanding your consciousness to get back into the body. Because it's your mind that's going to animate your body. That's why you don't need physical food. The energy is your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did we say this? Now, we always say, I got a gut feeling. Now, if your gut is telling you that, that means it's your mind. Why can't we see that? Listen to your heart. Your heart is your whole body. If you can listen to your heart, that's your mind. Oh, man. We've been fragmented through knowledge. Right. Yep. Fragmented by some words killed everybody. Ignorance. And we all talk about unity and can't find it because you're separated from your body. You get your body unity become a reality. Mm. It ain't no words no more. You see it. Oof. Can you, oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> so you said we're all talking unity and can't find it because we're separating from our body. Yeah! Okay. Oh man, this is deep, ain't it? Right. See, we just talk a good game of spirituality because it's the politically correct thing to say. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't become a reality. It don't become a reality till you actually get back in your body. Right. The reason why you die, you got evicted, kicked out. <laughs> You did. That's why I was, uh, you got kicked out. So get out of here. Right. Well, what would I do? I was a nice person. Well, take care of the body, which is your mind. Didn't give it no value. Mm -hmm. And you're beautiful. That's wild, ain't it? Oh, 
don't need the TV to tell me I'm beautiful. You look at that God when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror, that's what you're looking at. A manifestation of one mind. Because the energies I'm talking about, our third body, y'all got the same thing. We work it with the same force. Don't you see one sun? Oh, man, did we say this? Oh, man. Working with the same forces. The dog is doing that. That's why we say, oh, I'm glad the Lord woke me up this morning. He did that for a mouse. So, so what? <laughs> Whoopie too. It's working with the same forces. A mouse. A dog. A cat. A pig. They work. The same energy is. And that's you. We didn't see that before, but when you get into this knowledge, you start seeing it. Mm. That's wild, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So the reason why a dog has a dog consciousness is because it's in that body. That's why it thinks on that level. Wow. The reason why you have a consciousness is the same energy, but when it came into the body, that's what gives you this consciousness. So the body determines the level of consciousness. The body determines. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, did we say this? But y'all the same being to animate this reality. Now look at that word animate. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Animate. Because in that book, Man's Higher Consciousness, listen to that, that man's higher consciousness. But every time we talk about higher consciousness, we always look it up. Yes. Don't people do that? Yes. Because we've been trained to do that. Instead of just doing this, man's higher kind of, your higher self. We be in my higher self. I be looking at people that say, you know, <laughs> but they gotta talk like that because they kicked out of their body. So for them, that it is higher. Hey. Right. Oh wow. It is it's higher. Not in them. It's not in them. Wow. That's wild, then. Look Whoa! Like, they're like, I'm real, so they haven't invited it. But Had them went inside. Yeah. Yeah. And how do we go inside? We already got this. We got a physical system so you could go inside. It's not a belief. What is it again? The primal vascular system. Vascular system. The etheric body. The energy body. The acupuncture meridians. That's what's holding the energy. And, and this is where it gets good. Everybody has it. But this is what makes a spiritual person or an energetic person has more energy. Just like if you was lifting weights, the muscles is going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So the more you meditate and get up under the cosmic energy of light, the energy channels inside is going to get bigger. Mm, right. That's what people don't understand. They're going to get bigger. You are actually working with something. You're like an energetic spiritual bodybuilder. <laughs> right. Like you could be all skinny, but you walk in the door, your energy feels this big. Yeah. You walk into the door sideways. Right. Woo. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. This is good, ain't it? Yes. And this is why a person couldn't fast their way in, talking about they believe, right. because... The body's losing too much weight and the energy channels is too skinny. Mm. They don't meditate. Right. Yeah. And when I travel around the world, I caught a lot of people wanting, you're not a meditator. You can't be because you're too sick. Yeah. Right. Your energy channels is blocked out. I've been doing this for 40 years. <laughs> You've been doing the wrong thing. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. Whoa! This is good, ain't it? Yes. Oh, man, I just got high in here. <laughs> oh, man. But we got to hear this. We got to hear this. Because let's go back to that word. Animate. That's also the word, the beginning of animal. Animal. Animate. When you see an animal like a squirrel running, you're looking at an animated creature. It's animated. Because the foundation of that creature is consciousness. It's 
animal. Like a cartoon. Animation. Animation. Yeah. An animal. It's, don't be worried about it when I say we're animals. Some people don't like that. We're, 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 no, it's all right to be an animal. You're animated. That's all. You're animated. So you're, you're moving your body with your mind. Mind-body connection. The reason people can't see the breath there in knowledge, their mind and their body is separated. Mm -hmm. They don't realize it. They're not in tune. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we say this? Oh, man. You struck something. It's wow. funny that the uh, Latin word for spirit is in mm -hmm. We were about to get there. <laughs> say that one more time louder. The Latin word for spirit is in here we go now. Oh, man. Now they got a word called animism. Y'all ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. An animus. Mm -hmm. And that goes back in antiquity. Where they say that's the found, some people say that's the foundation of all religion. Mm -hmm. And then some people look at it as being primitive because mm -hmm. somebody's talking to the spirit of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Oh, they superstitious. It's primitive. But when we re look at it, or this knowledge, no. There was a band. That's a band's thinking. Because they were saying, everything is a manifestation of me, both animate and inanimate objects. Because it's your mind that's even letting it have light. It's you. That's wild, isn't it? It goes away. It goes away. Or if you pay something no attention, it ain't there. And you only can see what your perception allows you to see. That's why you got to open up the body, which is your mind. I was talking to some guy a few days ago. He could not understand what I was conveying to him because his body was shut down. And I was trying to break it down more and more so he could understand. And there ain't no put down. He just couldn't see it yet. That's wild, ain't it? So this goes beyond words. And they, that's why they say true knowledge goes beyond words. It's an energy thing. Oh, man. So that's why when I'm living this life, like you, you say you're in L.A. now. Now, I'm in L.A. with this knowledge in this mind. It's beautiful. The energy is everywhere. It's high. That's all I see. Right. But if my channels and my mind was closed down, get me out of this city. Mm. Well, I be talking about everybody else. Boy, the world's coming to the end. These governments, they're trying to trap us. They're trying to, they in duality. I always be sitting there, what they talking about? <laughs> but that's what they see. Yeah. Oh, man. That's wild, ain't it? And I remember me and this guy was hanging for five days. We was in Arizona and we climbed this mountain. And I said, look at that beautiful view. And we like, yeah. Then here he go. But the world is so dark. The I said, you just brought that darkness up on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Yeah. We was hanging together for five days and we ain't experienced none of that. Now we up on the mountain. All you had to do was enjoy the moment. Right. And he up there looking all sad, <laughs> talking about the world. Because he watched some videos of a world conspiracy. Don't let that eat you up. His energy channels was closed. He let it get to him. Who's ever programming you, that's how you're going to function. He directed his energy for it. Right. For and you don't have to. This is wild, ain't it? Oh, man. Your perception change was, must take place. So it's like the key to like ending all this government Controlling it. it's literally what, what's empowering it is our attention for it. You take your attention away from it, it ain't gonna be there no more. Well, it ain't so much a beer there no more, you'll see it differently. It's actually in your favor. Yeah, yeah. We got the most meditation uh, modalities out there today that you can get access to than ever before. Right. Didn't the government allow that to happen? Because it's you. You gave it to you. We got the most different types of fasting techniques out there. It was you giving it to you. 
With your perception open, that's all you see. Oh man, did we say this? Oh, this is good. Oh, I just got high again. <laughs> we gotta wake up. So that's what they mean by spiritually waking up. Energetically waking up. Other than that, you're just talking. I know we got this get woke culture. They ain't woke. They sleep as I don't know what. <laughs> oh, man. How about they woke? Can't see. <laughs> woke or who they can bring down. That's that why they, part. That's the part. That's why they saying they woke. Oh, man, we ain't talking like that. We're trying to bring people up. You healing the world every time you heal yourself. But now let's talk about this energy. This energy body that's in you, and it radiates outwards. It's in you as the foundation, but it radiates outwards. And the more you work with the flow of energy and harmonize it, the stronger it becomes. Huh? That's wild, ain't it? That's how you're nourishing yourself now. You're living a whole nother life. And it heals you. And you will stay healed and energetic. That's the foundation. Oh, man. I'm getting high. Listen at this. This energy body. But this is where it gets good. It's more than just energy coming out, not doing nothing, and it's your mind. Now keep in mind that the universe is in order. Man don't make laws. They make what you call rules, situations. That's why they always could change. You know, if they're too bad, we can change them. If they this and that, they always change. But universal laws that the universe makes don't change. That's why the scriptures say, I have the same yesterday, the day, and tomorrow. That's the way the energy flows. People getting sick and dying because they're going against the flow of the forces. You're going against what? The flow of energy, that's all. But once you understand how energy flows, uh-huh, mm. go with the flow. This is good, isn't it? Go with the flow. Go with the flow. It's hard to go eat. You got to go get the money. <laughs> Find a place, shop, cook it and prepare it. That's why it is. Then when you eat it, you get tired. You got to take a nap. Then you got to use the bathroom. And then when you keep doing it over and over again in the cycle, then aches and pains show up. Then you see a doctor and he said, we got to talk. It's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. Expensive lifestyle. <laughs> that will kill you. <laughs> oh, man. This is something, ain't it? That pretty soon you'll be buried outside the city. All in a cycle, which is karma. Mm. Attached to it. That's wild, ain't it? So that's why this is in levels and degrees. You're learning how... You see, we ain't even saying... Like when you're starting out, not to scare you. We ain't saying you gotta go a total life without eating. We didn't say that. But if you don't know how to detach, that's the problem. Wow, that's something, eh? Lay it down for a season. And it's no problem. Instead of you saying, I can't, I'm gonna do it. How, many, how long has it been? Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it'd be like that when you first start out, two hours. I did 24 hours of your time. What do I do now? I understand, but everybody went through that. That's why you start out slowly and gradually working the body back with the source, which is in you, which is your what? Your energy channel. Your etheric body. Your acupuncture meridians. They're all running the same. Oh, man. Getting filled up with the cosmic energies that come from off the earth. 
And then this is where it gets good at. That's what grounds the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body, those are four aspects of your body, which is all one. It grounds you to the earth. That's how you get grounded. Because the earth has this electromagnetic field. Did we say this? And you are perfect, because the body's a good conductor of energy. Right. It's a good conductor of energy. It's good at it, it loves to work with energy. So when you feel aches and pains, that's not nothing bad. You better be glad that the body's letting you know that there's something happening here, let's take care of it. Mm -hmm. Then, if that didn't happen, you just fell over dead, you ain't had the chance. <laughs> you ain't even tell me. But the body's telling you what's wrong. All right, you slip over here today, take it easy. Well, sometimes it might need to, depending on how hard you're running, come on, we need to sit down for a while. <laughs> we need to stop it so I can heal myself. And notice when we did the Qigong, all it was was going to a certain position, staying there. That's so easy, isn't it? Easy. Easy. The cosmic energy is here. Now it's self-knowledge. And the body does a, a process called homeostasis. You ever heard of that? That's the energetic balancing act that the body does on every thought you think. Everything you put in the body, you put on the body, is always transitioning the cell. It's always transmuting energies. Oh, this is good, eh? Woo! Digging deeper and deeper. Now let's go deeper into the air. We've got these things called atoms. We've got these things called molecules. One and the same, but they're different. Atom is a single element. Molecule is two or more elements put together. In a nutshell. So let's get into it. Because your body not only is a good absorber of energy, it's also a good transmitter because you always transmit the frequency of it. That's why they say watch your thoughts. You are created. You always magnetize your reality. Why? Because of your energy body. That's your mind. This is good at, you're just a program. So when I say your perception, the way you see it out the world, that's who programmed the bio machine. That's why there's a thing called a poverty mentality. It's just a limited mentality. I can't do that because it is. I can't do that because. Who said that? You said that. <laughs> uh -huh. And you're actually rich. That's wild, ain't it? You can get anything you want. Now let me put that, put a, let me rephrase that. You get anything you need. But the universe always gives you what you need. That's wild, ain't it? Because you don't know what you want. <laughs> right. Oh man, this is good. One of my friends told me a, a couple of acronyms for poor and for rich. So there was an acronym he said for rich, and it was realizing I create happiness. Realizing you create, I create happiness. Yeah, realizing rich. I create happiness, that it comes from within. Right. You're rich. You're always rich. Right. And then when he talked about poor, he said passing over opportunities repeatedly. Wow. Whoa. Poor, passing over opportunities repeatedly. Yeah, yeah. This is good, ain't it? Yeah. And it's all a mindset. And the opportunity is always at hand. And always at hand. Yeah. This is good, ain't it? And, <laughs> and you know who, who, know who can see the breath air message more than anybody? Because when I'm teaching, people say, do you run into skeptics and this and that and that? And I tell them the different people I run into. A person that's really rich, don't deny it. Right. Mm -hmm. They know finances come out of the ethers. <laughs> they know it. Oh, man, did we say this? They know it. They say, I can see that. They just know that that was my determination on what I wanted to manifest. But they manifested something else. That's all it is. But it comes out the ethers. And what is the ethers? In you. 
the energy channels. That's why in that book, uh, what is that? Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. They had a whole chapter dealing with sexual energy cultivation, yes. talk about the chakras. Yes. What is the chakras? Your energy body. Your etheric body. <laughs> your what? Primal vascular Primal. system. Primal vascular system. <laughs> the rich already knew this knowledge. The elite already knew this knowledge. You didn't. Oh man, did I say that? Oh man, but now it is spilt over. And that goes to show you the power, to show you it ain't no conspiracy, because power and truth is so powerful, a person can't even hold it if they wanted to hide it. Then we say this. That's why they always say the truth is hidden in plain sight. You can't hide it. It was just your perception that hid it. That's wild, isn't it? Oh, man. It's too powerful. I even tell my friend last night, you know, why did you start teaching a message? I couldn't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit there and eat this. Somebody else do that. Let me. Blah, 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 blah. You know? <laughs> it's too powerful. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to hold this? The good news. Oh, man, did we say that? Oh, man, to wake up, to be nourished. So in other words, when we said the vascular system, the primal vascular system swells up, and I ain't making this up, because check this out. The energy that's coming off of you. Remember when we said you'll have a gut feeling or your, something will come from your heart? The energy is always protecting you. It reads danger all the time. It's always in this filter all the energies in the atmosphere is coming to you. Everybody is. It's just that sometimes you can be too numb to realize it or you ignore it. Did I say this? There could be an accident up the street. You'll go somewhere else. That's why you got to start trusting yourself. Your body already picked it up. I was walking to Mexico down the street. Looking around. Then something said, doo -doo -doo. I looked down and there was a glass that broke on the ground. And I had no shoes on. Right, right. My body picked it up. Yes. Just like spider senses take it. Yes, yes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. That's your energy field. To start from the inside, it comes out. And it's protecting you. Everybody has it. From danger. Because all your body knows is life. What did you get in an accident? Not with your energy field open. A wild end. Yeah. It's picking up on everything. I remember you talked about in that video on the, you know, the barefoot journey. Yeah. When you were saying how your feet it starts to feel like they have eyes on them, and they're yeah. seeing for you. Seeing. For and you. I noticed that too because I I read while walking, and there was one time I was walking and reading, and then I don't know what made me just look down. I looked down and like you said, it was glass. Right. I was approaching it. Right. I hadn't crossed over into it yet. And so then I just sidestepped. I just went around and just kept going. Here we go. But I didn't have to look down. It was like... The you know. energy body. Yeah. So that's why it's good to know you got one. Right. right. The average person don't know they got one. Right. And when you know you got one, it's sort of like what Jenny was saying. As soon as we went out to the bus, it was already out there. Synchronicity. Yeah. You ain't even worried about being late. You always right on time. That's wild, ain't it? Oh, man. I wanted to go this way, but I got redirected. Don't cry about it. It happened for a reason. It just get redirected and watch what happened. Oh, man, this is better than what I was thinking of before. <laughs> you got it made. That's wild, ain't it? It's a thought process that's ruling the world. That's all it is. A thought. Oh man, your imagination. That's why one of the popes said one time, he got up and he told the truth too. He said, hell is not a place somewhere else. He said it's a state of consciousness. He straight said it. And then this Protestant preacher got up and guess what he said? He took a weapon from us. Because they use the other idea as a weapon. Right. You be good or you're going to go to this place forever. Right. 
That's a weapon. Words are a weapon. Or words can set you free. That's wild, ain't it? Oh, man. This is good, ain't it? <laughs> oh. So now, here we go as we keep chopping. Atoms and molecules. And atoms is unique because your body can synthesize if you're worried about vitamins and minerals and stuff. Okay, let's go there. Your body is so intelligent with the energy, it can synthesize what it needs. Because the elements, it already has connection to it. Like if we take hydrogen, one proton, one electron, first on a periodic table, an atom, hydrogen. Hydrogen's a gas and it's flammable. Right. And it's flammable. And they did a blip one time to Hildenberg or whatever. And they filled it up with hydrogen because hydrogen is lighter than air. And one day a spark hit it. And that was a disaster. But it just didn't blow up because of the spark. Oxygen is all in the atmosphere. Now oxygen is a gas and oxygen won't light on its own. It's not flammable. But it's a good combustor of flames. That's why I it. That's why when you open the door during a burning house, it, it blows up back. It blows up even more. Yeah. You bag it with the oxygen or you make it a campfire. One time some person couldn't make a campfire. I said, lift up the ring, you know, the ring we're making it in, so the oxygen can get up under to help the fire. So when that hydrogen molecule and that spark was there and the oxygen hit, it caused an explosion. Boom! One hydrogen molecule, the atom, and the oxygen with the spark. But at the same time, you take that hydrogen atom, times it by two, and mix it with the oxygen, it makes water. Now that's something that the same elements can make something that's a fire. And the same elements can make something to put it out. Oh man, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> so your body is well intelligent mm -hmm. on grabbing what it needs out the atmosphere to get what it needs. Right. This is good, ain't it? Oh man. Can I ask you a question? Um, can you grow your own teeth? Like if you are mature age, so usually people always have a surgery to have them place them, yeah? So since you don't eat anything, so can you produce yourself that calcium and... I know what you're saying, let's answer. Some say Everything you can. is possible. Everything's possible. Can you grow your own teeth? Now, as we look into it, as I looked into it, all right, here we go now. The way I see it's possible is through the stem cells in the body. Now, the stem cells is actually embryonic cells. When you were born, the embryonic, but since you're an adult, they call them stem cells because you're not an embryo no more. But your body produces stem cells. Now, what she said was, is it possible, that's the only possibility I see at this time, where it can be a reality. Even though there's people that said they've done it, but they, if I've if I done it, I'm going to let you know because I'm going to explain it to you. I think uh, science might have uh, said you can. Hmm? They, I think science said you could actually grow your teeth like we said. But are they talking about stem cells? They are saying it. China yeah, uses sure. stem cells. Stem cells from urine to grow teeth. So yes, it's possible. Now being on this journey, the more you stay on the path, more abilities will keep coming out as you grow your energy. Mm -hmm. This is what we talk about. That's why people say I want to be a breatharian. That's not the goal. Right. Just what set in your mind that you're living a life, an energetic lifestyle, and that's it. You're going to keep on growing naturally by nature. Right. This is good, ain't it? It don't end. A year from now, you're working with this energy, you're going to be stronger. Five years from now, stronger. Ten years from now, stronger. 
That's why you got to keep in mind. Every, the abilities is a byproduct of how the energy is flowing. Oh, man. So you try to seek to be something. It's sort of like we live in an ocean of energy, right? But say if there's something in the water and you try to grab it, you keep hitting the waves and it's going front. <laughs> That's what's happening. You learn to relax. Yeah. So let it flow to you. That's why one of the gods, Ganesha, said, don't seek the power. Allow the power to find you. See, the power will come to the vessel if the vessel's prepared. If it's not prepared, it's not coming to the vessel. Right. People beating themselves over the head, and all you got to do is be humble that you just ain't strong enough yet. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, this is good. But their ego is in the way. Right. Or what their friends might say. I've been, I've been acting like I was meditating for a long time. <laughs> All right, here we go now. <laughs> all right, just mess up. I, I, and all we say that you just needed to tweak your game a little bit. You know what I mean? You'll get there. Just be consistent. That's what I mean. Humble yourself. Allow the energies to allow you to grow. But like we, the famous saying we say is, like the full lotus, that flower, that beautiful flower. If you force a flower to open up, you'll damage it. But if you allow it to open up on its own, it becomes a beautiful creation. That's what you're doing with yourself. You'll get there, this consistency, and enjoy yourself along the way. Didn't I say that? Mm -hmm. See, we're actually creatures of uh, pleasures and habits. Now, when people hear that word pleasure, uh-uh, we ain't supposed to have pleasure. Yeah, you do. There is a thing called good, clean fun. We just don't know that. That's why we're scared. You get in trouble, you know, because the other mind is in the way. But when a new mind come up, this world is fun. This is good, ain't it? Oh, man. Oh, did I say this? Another question. What do you think of fate? What fate? Is fate, yes. Fate. Oh, destiny. Fate. Whatever you can call it. What's your fate? She said, what is your fate? Whatever you want it to be. Because mm -hmm. you're the creator of your reality. See, let me show you this. As I started getting on the path, becoming a breatharian, I started getting more energy. I started to sleep less. I started to have new ideas that I would have never had before. So I was able to now create things I never thought I could create before. That's something that go for opportunity, because they say life is opportunity. See, a whole lot of people will be doing things right now if they had the energy to. Did I say that? So she said, what is your faith? You can put fates on top of fates. Destiny's on top of destiny. After you fulfill this, then what next? Go to something else. This is good, ain't it? We ain't got to be spooky no more with it. You are actually the creator of your reality. But now, you, since your consciousness is expanded, you got the energy to do it now. Somebody just said to me a few days ago, oh, the life they live in on how they fully transform. Right. Big transformation. And you're going from transformation to transformation to transformation. Now, how do you know that your vibration raises? How do you know? You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Now, we found out we got an energy body. And you're working with it. And do you notice that when we was in the different meditation poses, body shaking and I said we were also detoxifying the body. Cleaning it out through meditation. It does it on its own. So therefore, the more you stay on the meditative lifestyle, you are living a cleansing lifestyle. So over a period of time, the body, to know you got a higher vibration, 
the physical body, the emotional body, and the mental body will feel lighter. You'll feel lighter. Did we say this? Just because a person is skinny don't mean they're healthy. Did we say this? When you feel that little, uh, uh, under the hood, it's sticky. Ah, that's because you put on a new shirt. Oh, you look so good. Yeah. I seen this woman. That, right. I started laughing one time I seen this woman. Her body was just a hurting. But when she went to transform and put on the clothes, I know she was still hurting. It didn't change nothing. But she was smiling. Oh, you really look good, girl. She was like, yeah. I know the body was hurt, but that's the game we playing. Mm. Under the hood was first. Oh man, this is good, ain't it? So now, so we was detoxing. So the physical, emotional, and mental bodies feel lighter. Now this is not that word lighter, feel lighter. Okay, so we said the body feel lighter, physical body. Now the emotional body feels lighter. Have you ever been emotionally heavy? Mm -hmm. That's rough, ain't it? Heartbreak. That's the most heavy. The heartbreak. He's talking about it. Tell it, huh? <laughs> Crying. There was some young man crying not, not too long ago. He looked good physically, but he was emotionally destroyed. That's wild, ain't it? Wow. Oh, man. Emotionally heavy. And then mentally heavy. Have you ever just been mentally tired? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? I'm just exhausted, mentally tired. Now we all know they're one, right? So the physical, emotional, and mental will feel lighter. They will feel light. Now check this out. And once they feel lighter, it will bring forth the feeling of happiness, joy, peace, and love. That will come with it. When you feel energetic and happy, you'll be smiling for no reason. Yeah. You don't even need nobody to make you happy. Because no. you feel good. The energy is flowing. There's no problems. The only problem going to happen if you start it. <laughs> Which most people do. Because they don't know I need some action. <laughs> what we call them? Uh, uh, drama queen? No. <laughs> Serious. That automatically comes with it. That's wild, ain't it? You emotionally have no problems. The physical body feels good. The mind is strong. You happy. That's wild, ain't it? That's how you know. Now look at that word where we said you feel lighter in the physical body, the emotional, and the mental. Lighter. Now we got that word in spirituality called enlightenment. Enlightenment, but we always want to talk spooky with it, don't we? Here we go, because they all know. But now let's talk through it through another eye. The middle word in it is light. An enlightened being is a being who got the stress and tension out of their energy field. Oh, did we say this? Uh-oh, that's all it is. Because they feel right and they're always happy. The energy is flowing. They're light. The halo is on. The wings is coming out. They're glowing. What you supposed to say? It ain't about what book they read. It ain't had nothing to do with that. They went inside and got the stress and tension off the body, opened up the what? The uh, Thank you. Primal basket. <laughs> open up. Which is all the same oh, thing. Right. They opened it up. Yeah. I once was dead and now I'm alive forevermore. That's what it says in Revelation. That's a person who opened up their channels to seven churches, which is the seven chakras. Where is they at? Right in our spine. <laughs> right in our spine. The primal. Yeah, the primal basket. There we go. Primal basket. Eric's body. All of that. It's just that easy. We made it harder than what it really is. Right. Everybody waiting for somebody to return. 
It don't matter if somebody returns or not, you ain't gonna listen to them. You bad. <laughs> you bad. Right, you stressed up now inside, you're gonna keep going, I just gonna stop all of a sudden. No, it's not. You gotta do the work. This is real, ain't it? It brings it down to earth. That's why you're learning to take responsibility for your life. This is your life. That's your energy. That's wild, ain't it? You ain't got to give it to nobody else no more. Let nobody take it. Oh, man. This is good, ain't it? You got something to work with. So now, let's get to the second verse of that. How do you know you got a high vibration? You feel lighter in the physical, emotional, and mental bodies, and it will bring forth the experience of happiness, joy, love, and peace automatically will come. And then you will have little or no, listen at this, little or no aches and pains in the physical body, and your emotions will be easily dealt with. Uh oh. So that means on this journey, you're supposed to be healthy. Right. Did we say this? If the channels is open and the energy is flowing, how do you supposed to catch high blood pressure? <laughs> how? That <laughs> no, doesn't even make sense, do it. No. We're not making it up. Right. Did we say this? Mm -hmm. We know how that happens. Mm -hmm. Because of what? We got blocked up. Everything did. Everything did. The primal vascular system. Everything, the emotional body. The emotional body, everything. everything got blocked out. So it manifested as what? Diabetes, high blood pressure, liver ailments, strokes, cancer, all of that is energy blockages. Because the cosmic forces can't get in the body to feed, nourish, and heal the body, and the person blocked it out. Wow. Due to what? Ignorance. Belief systems. That's why it was it was always available. Mm -hmm. It didn't know. Oh man, did we say this? Well, it's okay to be healthy. It's okay to be healthy. That was my first book. I thought you gonna name it, and I didn't even put a title. I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was just an interview. It's okay to be healthy. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess I'll keep it as that. <laughs> but now it makes sense, don't it? <laughs> It's okay to be healthy because some people think they, you know, it's wrong to be healthy. And it's natural. It's a birthright. Because then we just talk about the, what is cosmic energy? Now that's a given. Everybody's living in it. Have access to it. And then everybody has a, what? Energy body. That's the foundation of the physical body. That's why the pharaohs was talking about the Kaaba, the Ka, K-A, which is the light body, nourish and sustain the physical body. They was telling us, but we just thought it was just some mythical stuff and, you know, that's what they, they was primitive. <laughs> no, somebody mastered the body. But now we woke up to see it since we came out of our nightmare, our sleep. You're only successful in how many external things you can grab. That would even make sense for you to die. Right. That's something, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, man, we just got fooled. That's why they say health is your wealth, but we just thought it was there. Eh. Now it makes sense, don't it? It means everything. And especially when you got an electromagnetic field that will give you what you need. It's an energy thing. That's why they say a yogi can manifest things with little or no effort. It's a mind. That's something, ain't it? And how do we expand our mind? By going back into the body. Uh-oh, it's making sense now, ain't it? We connecting the dots. Oh, man. What time I got? Because you know me, I could go. It's like 1.53. We're rolling, ain't it? You're rocking. Now let Jeez. me wrap it up so, so we can take a break and go into another meditation. Oh man, this is good, ain't it? We got it now. And, it's, and, it, and you have access to it. It's all you. It's all up to you. So even physical immortality is scary to some. 
and we don't even need to go to hear that. But we can talk longevity, can't we? Yes. And right now, we're in the age of YouTube. They've got a whole lot of people that's older doing some amazing things. Mm -hmm. We just seen a race not too long ago. I mean, it was running. Dude was like over 100 years old. Remember I showed you that video? Yeah, right. yeah. What was 80? 80, 80 80 80 80 yeah, it was 80, 80 and over. Yeah. And it just won one or two people. I mean, they was going at it. Yeah, they, were yeah. They, were they could beat yeah. me running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like Malika was saying, that the person who's going to live forever is living right now. That's not far-fetched. It's just like a a sea turtle. Mm -hmm. Now a sea turtle could live 50 to 100 years until they found one that was over 500 years old. They didn't know that before, but just by finding one, yes. that changed the whole perception of the population on what they had the potential to do. Right. I think right. A shark that was 2, That's wild, ain't it? A shark that's wow. 2,000 years old. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and of course, we have in California Right, and I just see the tree of Mexico. Of them, yeah. What, twenty five hundred years old, and he could keep going. The only thing gonna stop him is some external intervention to somebody get on his nerves. Right, but, but right now the atmosphere, and he got everything he need, and this is why the ancients used to call us for in, 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 in a way of a tree, mm. because your system, that energy system. That primal, what was that called again? Vascular. Vascular system. Yeah. That, uh, what's that called again? Our, our meridian channels. Our Your meridian channels. Go through the body like a root of a tree. Mm -hmm. You're the tree they talking about in Genesis. It's a person. Don't you go to a right. family reunion, a family right. tree? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Then we got all animals on the tree of evolution. You're a tree. We're walking trees. Walking yeah. trees. Yeah. Right. Doing photosynthesis. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Working with light. Sound is light. All of this stuff. And we just woke up now. And what's your Qigong called? The type? Oh, the Qigong. Standing what? like a tree. That's what the Qigong I teach people. All you, and, and when you see that tree, you look at it. That's a living being. Mm -hmm. He meditating. He's standing like a tree, yes. getting drenched with cosmic forces. Yes. Right there. That's what he's doing right in our face. That's a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. And when you touch it, you can climb it and touch it, and we get, for two, three months, we get so much mulberry. That's a Turkish mulberry tree. I mean, it's a living being. A I living mean, being, giving I off his babies. I talk to him. And for people to eat fruit, we ain't putting it down, not at all. But for people who eat fruit, notice that when you eat fruit, you get hungry. Because the tree want the animal to eat more fruit yeah. so it can carry away a seed. Right. Yeah. Just there, there. Now, what's another thing for spirituality? We said it's to expand the consciousness. And what's the other one? I'm going to tell it to you. To transcend animal instinct. So if the tree want an animal to eat its fruit so it can carry off the seed, and you don't become an animal no more, you don't need to go eat the fruit. That's for animals. Yes. You go straight to the source. Right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> right. right. That takes too much work. And, and in a way, isn't that ascension? That's what ascension is. That's what ascension is. That's exactly what ascension is. Exactly. Physically, you no longer do what animals do. Right. You do what, you know, homo deus do. A, a man god. A man god. A you know, god, person god. God person. That's why I heard you say really. in ancient times, yeah. your job on earth is to transform yourself into a god. We think it's some hidden knowledge back then or something. This is what we're doing right now. So when I say I'm a god, I don't be half stepping on my videos. Right. What am I supposed to say? Right. Oh man, and you gods too. Some just gods in potential. Mm. Once they wake up, you know, it's there, it's the same energy. That's wild, isn't it? Oh man, 
Because all of this is you. That's how you come into the unity council. And the thing about it, the more energy coming to the body, it will change the thought process. The thought process going, is going off how the energy pattern is flowing through the body. Oh, did I say this? Oh, man, we just got high. Oh, man. Let's take a break on this one. Can I ask you a question? Oh, go ahead. So do you think you are God? I just, that's what I just said. Yes, of course you What did I just, what is the definition of the universe? Everything. What is the definition of your higher self? Asking me? Yeah. Okay. Those are words that water it down so you can walk into it. Well, but your main goal is to know who you are. What are you waking up to? What's your definition of God as well? Yeah, I mean, we're playing around. You're create. Did, well, did I just say you're creating your reality? Did I say God creating your reality? You're doing it. So who created this universe? You did. You did. You did, <laughs> you did it? You, you did. did it. No, you, you did. for you and me for me. Oh, man. And so for everybody them. did it for themselves. Now check this out. Right. That's now check right. this out. When you are in a dream, you are in a dream world that you're alone for yourself. That's the one you created. Mm -hmm. When you up right now, but are you really awake? You are in a collective dream. You're still in the dream. Why do we call it a dream? The brain didn't stop. All we did was slow down, and we call that sleep. But the brain and the body didn't stop. You're living through, your thoughts is a vehicle. This is why you're getting back in your body so you can take control of the physical body. It's yours, it shouldn't be running you around. You're supposed to be running it around, telling it what to do. Oh man, did we say this? Yes. And don't let it shock you. Eat it for a while. You just want, and I hit people in the beginning, I don't expect you to uh, do it right away or believe it. This is not a belief. This is self-realization. Somebody just said, don't worry about it, don't let it hurt you. Work with it. Sit it to the side till it's ready. <laughs> Serious. Yes. Reality is what remains after you believe it. I became after a God about, believe it. I became a you God three times it. before it soaked in. You see what I'm saying? But one time I became a god, you know, and I was all with my chest poked out until I got in some trouble, and I was like, oh, I'm not a god now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> till I grew a little bit. Bill Martin noticed that I created that in the first place. But then I started, that's what you do. You get scared at first. So, it's hard when you're scared of yourself so in this big old universe. You don't know it's you yet. So God is the creator, right? Mm -hmm. So God is uh, not sinner. So we are sinful humans. How can be you are God? That's a little bit confusing. Well, that was made, that duality thought process was made by the system. See, if God is everything, right? Mm -hmm. That means that God is, see, this is where it gets good. When your perception opens up. One time there was a man on the street that was a known alcoholic or whatever they want to call him. But he was a friend of mine. Now, I know he's God. It don't matter if he knows it. I know it. So one day I came, and I'm always doing my live videos, and I did a live video with him. Now, most people say, I ain't going to do it with him. He's low vibration. And I know he's not low vibration. Mm -hmm. And me and him talking, now the people on, out there online don't know he's in that condition, you know, physically. They say, man, he says some good wisdom. Man, who wants that? I said that was God. <laughs> See, when you get in this thought process, everything is high energy. Remember when we said in this room, there's a uh, hundred volts in this room right now? It don't matter who's sitting here, a sinner or whatever. That just means a person that's ignorant. That word sinner, don't let it fool you. It just means a person who's ignorant. They didn't allow themselves to do something. So we got that other religious thought. You got to battle with that. It's That's not all. religion. I'm not religious at all. I'm Christian. I believe in Jesus. 
but I'm not religious. Okay. That way. I don't believe but it's a belief system. Are... Yes. This is what we're working on, our belief systems. Yes. And it's okay. We all got to do it. Everybody has a belief system. I had to do you, it. You believe you are God. I, I know I'm God. There is God. I straight know it. I've created my reality. Yeah, yeah. I brought you here. So, <laughs> this is... <laughs> so, right. We didn't have stepping. So, who is Jesus to you? Huh? Last question. Who is Jesus to you? You know Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, in these books called the Bible. I never met him. You never know. Just him. like you my son. Now check this out, because we're going to take this somewhere else and so we don't mm -hmm. want to kill the energy. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to talk fantasy, and when a person has a belief system, they have to be right. Now this is what truth I do know. Let's take my son when I was raising him, for instance. My son knew that he could call God right on the phone, mm -hmm. which was me. <laughs> and I know where the son of God at because I created him. We straight real. All that other stuff, we could talk. I met him, I seen him. I, okay, we'll be going all day long. We don't know that. It's just like just now when I'm teaching you, I just had to teach you the energy and the atmosphere that could transform you. And let me tell you something. People's belief systems ain't going to do this. Case closed. Till we meet again, let's take 10. <laughs> La 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 la